was amazing. Thanks. What did you call that dance again, Noddy? It's the Toy Twist. Hey, why don't we have a Toy Twist dance party? We can use my music player. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Smartosaurus, what do you think? Uh... Oh, uh, sorry, Noddy. I actually, I've got to go to the Dino Lab. Oh, I, I have some very important, um, uh, adding up to do. Bye! <laughs> OK, let's meet here at sunset. I'll get it all ready. You tell everyone about the party. OK. Yeah, OK. OK! Oh. What? <laughs> Come on, you two. Let's go and see Big Ears. He'll be able to help. <laughs> I'm so excited about this party, Big Ears. Thanks for your help. <laughs> My pleasure. You know I love parties, but I think I'll pass on the dancing. I'm a bit <laughs> squeaky these days, you see. <laughs> OK, but I think you'll love the toy twist. Great! You've got everything we need. Snacks. Party balloons. And most important, my music player. Oh. Huh? A music player? I'm afraid I don't see it, Noddy, and my eyesight is excellent. Mm, where are my glasses? Oh, <laughs> oh here they are. No, Biggis, it's gone. I need to investigate. Where's my music player? Time to open a new case. Investigate. Now. Let's call this the case of the missing music player. So, how are you going to begin your investigation? Hmm. I know who else was with me this morning when I last saw it. <laughs> That's right, Bumpy. You, me, and Revs were there. And Smarty saw us. And the Naughty Corns. Maybe one of them has it. Maybe, but it was still there when we all left. It must have been taken after that. Hi, Noddy. Huh? Bye, Noddy. <laughs> That's the Toy Twist tune. Maybe Pat Pat heard it on my music player. She might know where it is. Let's go. Bye, Biggies. See you later. Good luck, Noddy. <laughs> Hi, Pockets. <laughs> I can't wait for your party, Noddy. <laughs> I love parties. Us too. Us too. <laughs> well, I hope there is a party. My music player's gone missing. You don't know where it is, do you? No, sorry. But when did you hear the Toy Twist tune? Hmm, I'm not sure. We painted pictures. Then we went to play on the slides. We so played. Yeah. Then we went on the scooter ride. And, and then... We met you! <laughs> so you must have heard it somewhere on the way. Was Deltoid singing it? Oh, yes, Noddy, you're right. It was. Oh, you are clever. Maybe he knows where my music player is. I need to find him. He said he was going home to get ready for the party. Thanks, Pat Pat. See you at the party. Bye, Noddy. See you later. 996. <clears throat> 997. Yes, Noddy. I heard of your party. I, Deltoid, will be there to dance the toy twist. That's really great. But I need to find my music player first. Do you know where it is? Hmm. No, I have not seen it this day. Ha! <laughs> but I tell you, I did hear a super tune just this morning. It was as if the wind itself was singing. The wind was singing? Hmm. Maybe we can still hear it. Let's be really, really quiet. Yes, 
Yes, there it is! The mm. singing wind. That's not the wind. That's music. That's got to be my music player. We found out where it is, Revs. <laughs> Thanks, Deltoid. <laughs> It's the pirate ship. Ahoy there, Noddy! Oh, it's not here. Oh, what's the matter, lad? Don't ye like our music? It's not that, Captain. It's just I've been following that tune everywhere. I thought it would help me find my music player, but it hasn't. And now it's almost the end of the day. My party's meant to be starting soon. I'm never going to find it. Never say never, shipmate. We only heard this tune this morning. This morning? Where? <coughs> Middle of nowhere! Middle of nowhere! This be it. Nowhere much, and right in the middle of it. Huh? Well spotted, Revs. This is exactly the shape of my music player. It must have been right here. <gasps> and here's something else. <laughs> hmm. Footprints. <laughs> That's right. Big footprints. But who could make such big footprints? Somebody very big. Like a dinosaur. I think Smartisaurus has it. Hello, Smartisaurus? No, Bumpy. Wait, wait. <gasps> oh, for Noddy, Bumpy. You have got it. So this is where my music player went. I've been all over Toyland looking for it. I'm so sorry. I only borrowed it. I was bringing it back. It's all right, Smartysaurus. But why did you borrow it? <sighs> I wanted to practice the toy twist dance. I'm so clumsy and I didn't want to look silly at the party. I went all the way into the middle of nowhere so no one would see me, but... Oh, I still can't do it. It's okay. You have a special smarty saurusy dance. But it's not the toy twist. Well, I can teach you that if you want. But what about the party? We've got loads of time. Come on, let's dance. Start with a shuffle. And back. Wiggle and point. Wiggle asaurus. <laughs> point asaurus. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> You're nearly there. Yeah, woo, that was great. Wow. Teaching me to dance. And thanks for adding your smarty saurus stomp. 
Well done, Noddy. You finished the investigation. Yes, I found out where my music player was, right in the dino lab. Smarty Saurus borrowed it so she could practice the toy twist. She was worried she looked silly. And look how much fun she's having now. I know. The case of the missing music player is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! And here it is. My new ball. Wow, it's amazing. Correct. Hey, why don't we ask everyone to come and play with it? Excellent thought, Noddy. Happy face! <laughs> Error. Careful, Bumpy. Bumpy, stop! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's a nice tune. Is it OK? Yes. Nothing broken. Oh. Good. I'm going to go and tell everyone to come and play this afternoon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. So, a special new ball, eh? Oh it's great. Lots of toys are coming. Smarty Saurus, Del Toys, Pat Pat and the Pockets. Wait till you see it. <laughs> oh, what are these doing here? Hello? Fuse, are you in there? No one will be able to get in with those walls in the way. Maybe he's gone to find someone to help him move them. Maybe. Poor Fuse. He was so excited about showing everyone his ball. I need to investigate. Why is there a big wall of bricks in front of Fuse's workshop? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Let's call this the case of the big wall of bricks. I'll go and look for Fuse and tell him you're on the case. Good luck, Noddy. Thanks, Biggies. Come on, you two. Let's look for clues. <laughs> hmm. Huh? These look like tracks. The bulldozer! And look! These bricks are the same as the ones outside the workshop. Whoever made the big wall could have used the bulldozer to do it. Let's go and talk to the builders. Hello, builders. Can you help me? I'm on an investigation. Oh, an investigation, eh? Fire away, young Noddy. Do any of you know why there's a big wall of bricks in front of Fuse's workshop? Oh, nothing to do with us. But your bulldozer's there. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Look. Well, it can't be ours. We parked our bulldozer right over there. I'll show you. Here it is. Ta-da! Uh... Where? Eh? It was just there. Oh. Oh. Don't worry. I told you it was by Fuse's workshop. Are you sure? Yes. OK. okay. So if you didn't move the bricks with your bulldozer, who did? Let's see. Nothing here. Or here, mate. Oh. oh! It's a button. 
It must have fallen off something. Like what? The only thing here was our bulldozer. I think we need to take a proper look at your bulldozer. Come on. Ta-da! Our oh, bulldozer! Hooray! Oi, oi! <laughs> Can you see any buttons missing? Nothing. Nah. But this is new. A camera? What's that doing there? I don't know. Hey, you want me to move that pile of bricks while we're here? Yes, please. Huh? Something's wrong with the engine. Whoa! Whoa. It's moving on its own. But how? <laughs> Who's controlling it? Help! Whoa! Whoa! Strange. The bulldozer only started moving after the builders offered to move the bricks. Help! It's almost like someone's trying to stop us going inside. Hey, where do you think you're going? Come back here! Please! <laughs> Hi, Noddy! We're ready to play! <laughs> oh, what's happened? Where's Fuse? I think he's going to find help, and I want to get inside the workshop, but I can't get past the wall. No, no. Stand back, my friend, for I, Deltoid, will move these with my great strength and power. <laughs> Are you watching? It's going. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Ta da! Thanks, Deltoid. It's blocking the entrance. Leave it to me. Ta -da! Hello? Is anybody here? What is it, Bumpy? The ball's gone! This investigation is so complicated. First, I saw a big wall of bricks outside. Then, the bulldozer was moved. And now the ball is missing. There must be a link between them all. What are you going to do? I need to find the ball. It might help me work out why the bricks are there. Bumpy, can you remember how Fuse got the ball back? That's right, he did play a tune. What was it? No, that's not it. That's it. Huh? Noddy, look! It's the ball. It was here all along. But why was it hidden away? Noddy, I found something. That looks like a remote control. Oh, yes. And see there, one of its buttons is missing. Button? Yes. Look, this is the button that I found near the bulldozer. Wow. But what's it for? Let's find out. <laughs> That proves it. Whoever made the big wall used this remote control when they did it. But the remote control was inside the workshop. Exactly. And whoever was using it must still be inside too. And I think I know who it is. Hello? Fuse? Yep. Oh. 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 Hmm. Hello, Noddy. How did you know it was me? <laughs> it had to be you. No one else in Toyland is clever enough to build a remote control. Why did you make the big wall of bricks? I wanted... Ah, oh, Fuse. There you are. <laughs> I've been all over Toyland looking for you, and you've been here all along. <laughs> 
and this must be your ball. No, I no. Be careful. Oh. Uh -huh. Is that why you put the bricks in the way and hit the ball? Because you didn't want everyone to play with it? Correct. I was worried it might get damaged. I didn't mean to be unkind. Sad face. That's okay. We all have special things we don't want to share. I don't like sharing my investigation kit. You understand? Yes. And if you'd rather we didn't play with your ball, that's all right. Oh. But I do. I just don't want it broken. Confused phase. I have a question. What if we all play with the ball, but I'm in charge? That's a great idea. And we can stop playing any time you want. Uh -huh. Happy face! <laughs> well done, Noddy. You solved the investigation. Thanks. Fuse made a big wall of bricks to stop the toys coming into the workshop. When you wanted to play with the ball, I found out why. Fuse was worried that we'd break it. And now he's happy to share his ball with everyone, as long as he's in charge. Yes, the case of the big wall of bricks is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! <laughs> Thanks for the fishing rods, Pat Pat. <laughs> Ah, they be just what we need for our pirate fishing party. And remember, there's a bag of shiny gold coins for whoever catches the most fish. Which will be me. No one ever beats me at the fishing game. Ah. There's nothing as shiny as pirate gold. But there is. Ah. I wear the shiniest gold medal. I think you'll find there's nothing as shiny as a shiny nauticorn horn. <laughs> So shiny. Oh, I don't have anything shiny. Never mind. Maybe you'll catch the most fish and win the shiny gold coins. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not very good at fishing. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just need a bit of practice. <laughs> See you all at the fishing party later. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Got the party things for you. Pirates! Ah, ahoy, shipmates! Thanks for giving us a hand. And here's the prize a bag of. <gasps> oh! Whoa! Grey coins? What's happened to our shiny gold ones? There'll be no pirate fishing party till whoever has done this has put it right. Don't worry, Captain. I'll help. I need to investigate. Who took the pirate's gold coins and left grey ones instead? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Let's call this the case of the grey coins. What's your first move, Noddy? I'm going to take another look at the grey coins. Maybe they can give me a clue. Huh? Look, it's gold underneath. These are your <gasps> shiny gold coins. Huh? But who'd want to paint all our gold coins grey? Aye. We still need to find out who it is, or they might do it again. Hmm. Pat Pat likes painting things. Maybe she painted the gold coins grey. Well, why would she do that to our gold? I don't know. We need to talk to her. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go to Animal Acres. <laughs> grey? No, sorry, Noddy. I would so not ever paint anything grey. I don't even have any grey paint. See? Red, orange, yellow, pink, green, blue, purple. Oh, 
Where's the black paint gone? You mean your black paint's missing? Yes, and my white paint too. Hmm. Black and white? When you mix them together, they, they make, make grey. So whoever painted the gold coins grey... ...could have used your black and white paint to do it. But who was using black and white paint? Um... Oh! Deltoid! Noddy, greetings! Are you ready for the pirates' fishing party? I, Deltoid, am A-OK -okay to start. I have my hat. Mm. Yes, it's very nice, but... And my shiny gold medal. See yonder. It has pride of place in my wall of honour. Oh! Huh? But it has disappeared. Oh, woe is me! Oh, it's your medal. Oh. It's been painted grey too. <gasps> oh. But who would do such a thing? I don't know. They must have climbed up the wall. Ha 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 Oh, Noddy. No one can climb up that wall except me. <laughs> See? But if no one else can climb up the wall, how could they get the medal down? Who can tell? All I know is... It must have been someone who does not have a shiny gold medal and wanted to ruin mine instead. Ruin yours instead? Smarty Saurus was sad she didn't have anything shiny or gold. Smarty Saurus? But she is my friend. <gasps> Do you think she wanted to destroy my medal? I know I am mighty and strong and good at everything. Maybe she is jealous of me. That doesn't seem like Smarty Saurus. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go and talk to her. Hello? Anyone home? Huh? Huh? <gasps> Got you, Noddy! Smarty Saurus! <laughs> you were right. I just needed to practice, that's all. I catch them low. <laughs> I catch them high. <laughs> I catch them easy peasy pie. <laughs> that's amazing. Here, you have a go. I can't. I'm on an investigation. Someone painted the pirate's gold coins and deltoid's medal grey. Oh no, that's not nice. Smarty Saurus? Do you know anything about it? It's okay. You can tell me. No, Noddy, I promise I didn't. <gasps> what if they paint every shiny thing in Toyland grey? Smartysaurus, you're brilliant. What if someone is going round Toyland painting all the shiny things grey? Where would they go next? To wherever there's something super shiny. Yes, and what else in Toyland is super shiny? Yes! <gasps> the Naughty Corn Shiny Horns! Come on, Bumpy. Let's hope we're not too late. Cloppy Corn! Are you coming or what? <laughs> Sorry! Hi, Naughty Corns. Hiya, Noddy. Uh, what are you doing here? We're off to the pirates' fishing party! Yay! Oh, phew! Your horns are still shiny. Yeah, we already said there's nothing shinier. Oh, there's something on your hooves. It looks like bits of grey paint. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> What's that? Oh, Pat Pat's black and white paint pots. So, anyway, we better go. Let's see you at the party. Oh, wait. Bye. It must have been the naughty corns who painted the shiny gold coins grey and Deltoid's shiny gold medal. But it was at the top of the Wall of Honour. And Deltoid said no one else can climb up there. So maybe it wasn't them after all. This investigation's really hard. But Big Ears always says a good investigator thinks and thinks again. What was it Smarty Taurus said? I catch them low, I catch them high. 
Of course! Come on, Bumpy. I think I know who did it and how. I've made a special coin washer to clean your coins. Now we can have the fishing party. <laughs> Look! Ta -da! <gasps> my word is my bond. And my word is there'll be no pirate fishing party till I know who painted my gold coins grey. Oh, that is so unfair. Huh? It's OK, Captain. I know who did it. You do? Who, lad? The naughty cause. Oh. Uh-oh. It was you, wasn't it? Oh. I can see grey paint on your hooves. <sighs> oh, yes, all right, it was us. We borrowed Pat Pat's black and white paints and painted all the shiny gold things grey. But we'll make them clean again. <laughs> see? Well you better. But why did you do it? We just didn't want anything to be as shiny as our shiny horns. We're very shiny. I mean, sorry. Very sorry. But how did you climb my wall of honour? Only I, Deltoid, can climb that high. They didn't. Hoof used the fishing rod to catch the medal and bring it down. Watch. <gasps> <laughs> well, you could knock me down with a feather. How are those shiny gold coins doing, eh? Finished. Here. Well, then, all's forgiven and forgotten. And now, it's pirate fishing party time! <laughs> Noddy, you've solved the investigation. Thanks. When I saw grey paint on the Naughty Corn's hoofs, I thought it must be them who painted all the things grey. But I couldn't know for sure until I worked out how they got Deltoid's medal down. <laughs> and now everyone's having fun fishing. The case of the grey coins is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Closed! Wow! Oh, there's a blue parrot and a sparkly crystal. Wow, Fuse, your collection is amazing. Thank you. They are all special things I have found or been given by my friends. I really wish I had a collection of special things. Hey! Look, Bumpy, there's a musical bone. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh. They don't seem that special to me. Oh, me. See ya. Oh, wait for me. Hiya, everybody. Oh, we've got to see Hughes' special things. Pat Pat, your scooter wheels are squeaking. I will fetch my can of oil. Oh. Oh, wow! Wouldn't it be fun if we had a collection of special things? Special things! Special things! Oh, no, Pockets, wait! Bye! Bye! Come on, Pumpy. Let's go and tell Biggies all about Fuse's special things. <laughs> Bye, Smartysaurus. Bye, Noddy! Here we are. Oh. Confused face. You are now entering Brickerville! Well, I must say, they do sound interesting, Noddy. I can't wait to see them for myself. <laughs> Noddy, help! Error! Error! Fuse, what's wrong? My workshop has been turned upside down and my special things have disappeared. <gasps> Sad face. Oh, no. Don't worry, Fuse. I'll find them for you. I need to investigate. Where are Fuse's special things? Time to open a new case. Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the disappearing special things. 
How are you going to solve this one, Noddy? Someone or something made Fuse's workshop a mess. I'm going to look for clues here first. After you left, I had to go and see Clockwork Mouse. So I put my special things in their box and left them here. When I came back, everything was like this. And no box. Oh! So someone must have come in here and taken it while you were away. But who? Huh? Oh, look! A sparkly brush! Is this yours, Fuse? No, I am a robot. I do not have hair. <laughs> <laughs> then who does it belong to? Deltoid? No. Smartysaurus? No. Carlton? No. The naughty corns like sparkly things. Hmm. And this brush matches with Bling's colours. Let's go to Fable Forest and talk to Bling. Good luck, Noddy. I'll stay here and help Fuse clear up this mess. Yeah, it is my special sparkly brush. And your point is? I found it in Fuse's workshop just after someone messed it up and took his box of special things. Oh, Bling, you didn't. Who, oh, May? Of course I didn't. Then how come your brush was there? Well, if you must know, I left it there for Fuse to add to his collection. It's so way a million times more special than anything else he could have. Apart from my special grooming set. <laughs> what? That's nowhere near as special as... My special orange ribbon! Yay! It's, it's not, not special. special. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what is it, Bumpy? What can you hear, boy? Oh, the bone dance! <laughs> da, 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 da. Of course, it's the tune from the musical Bone. Da, 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 da. That's one of Fuse's special things. Huh? <laughs> it must be on the train. Let's go! <laughs> Where are the other special things? And how did the bone end up on the train? Maybe whoever took the special things got off at another station and left the bone on the train by mistake. Let's see. The last station was... Animal Acres! Smarty Saurus lives in Animal Acres and she really wished she had a collection of special things. Maybe she took them. Come on, let's go! Animal Acres, here we come! <laughs> Smarty Saurus! Oh. Hello, Noddy! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm on an investigation. It's about Fuse's workshop, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm such a clumsy Saurus. It's okay. What happened? <sighs> I just wanted one more look at the special things, so I tiptoed ever so carefully in and I tripped on an oil can lying on the floor. Whoa! Careful! And when I saw the mess I'd made, I ran away as fast as I could. Oh. And did you take these special things with you? No, I wouldn't do that. There wasn't a box when I went in. Then someone must have already taken it before you got there. But who? This investigation is really hard. <coughs> You're right, Bumpy. Big Ears always says a good investigator thinks and thinks again. So, we know the special things had already been taken when you came in. And tripped on the oil can. Yes, but why was the oil can there? Fuse is always neat and tidy. 
He wouldn't have left it in the middle of the room. <laughs> Maybe whoever took the special things used the oil. Used the oil? Why? You use oil to make things that are rusty or squeaky stop squeaking. That's it! Thanks, Smarty Taurus. Bye! Hi, Noddy! Look, what do you think? It's for my special things collection. It's great! Pat Pat, I'm on an investigation. Someone's oh. made Fuse's workshop all untidy and taken his special things. Do you know anything about it? It's okay. You can tell me. No, I've been here the whole time. Why would you think it was me? I found Fuse's oil can in the middle of the floor. I thought maybe you'd ridden there on your squeaky scooter and used it. But it's right here. And it's still really squeaky. Oh. Oh, the squeak's gone. That is so absolutely super strange. Hmm. Unless someone else took your scooter to Fuse's workshop and oiled it. Well, that was kind of them. Yes, except I think they took Fuse's special things as well. Oh, but who would do that? I don't know. Has anyone asked to borrow your scooter? No. There's been no one here at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pocket. Oh! <laughs> Wee! Wee! Naughty! 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 <gasps> Pockets! What have you done? Special things! Special things! Wee! Pockets? These belong to Fuse. We know! Did you take them from the workshop? Yes! Oh, but these don't belong to you. You can't take someone else's special things. Fuse is really upset. Oh! oh. Sorry. Noddy's right. You have to find your own special things. Oh! It's OK. Come on. Let's take everything back to Fuse. Whee! <laughs> Sad face. Oh. Huh? Sorry. My special things. Happy face. Thank you for giving them back. Oh. Here. A special thing for you to start your own collection. And an even more special thing from me. And me. And me. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Noddy. You've solved the investigation. Thanks. Once I remembered Pat Pat's squeaky scooter and the oil can in the workshop, I worked out that the special things must be at the treehouse. The pockets took the collection and didn't know it would upset Fuse. But he's forgiven them. And look how happy they are with their own special things. Yes, the case of the disappearing special things is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! It is a warm day in Toyland and Noddy and Tessie Bear are going camping. Where are you two going? Oh, hello, Martha Monkey. Nadia and I are going camping. That sounds fun. Oh, I'll fetch my things too. Oh, Martha can be such a pest. And now she's coming with us. Martha isn't so bad. And it might be fun to have her along. No, she'll talk too much. Then she'll push my head. You just wait. Hmm. I'm ready! Let's go! <laughs> See ya. Well, what are you waiting for? It will be fun, Noddy. You'll see. There are so many stars! And they are so beautiful! And so high up! 
Yes! I wish I could flap my arms like a bird and fly all the way up there. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Uh, I would never walk anywhere. I would fly all the time. <laughs> I fell down. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I'm glad Martha came along. She's not so bad after all. I mean, when she's not pushing my head. <gasps> What's that? A falling star. Let's go and see. I think it landed around here somewhere. Look, over there. scaring her. Really? Oh, I didn't mean to. Stars belong in the sky, Martha, not on the ground. If we don't get Twinkly back into the sky before the sun comes up, she could be stuck down here forever. We're not going to hurt you, Twinkly. We want to be friends. Learn to change and learn to bend Learn to make a different friend Some annoying monkey gal Might become your loyal pal Wooden boy or wind-up toy Twinkly star or honking car Learn to change and learn to bend Learn to make a different friend So you aren't scared of us anymore, Twinkly? How are we going to get Twinkly back in the sky? I know. Maybe Mr. Sparks can invent something to help her. Do you like that idea, Twinkly? We have to get that star, Sly. Gobbo, uh, why should we care about some silly star? Stars are great for making all kinds of magic. But we'll use it to make naughty goblin magic. <laughs> so can you help us, Mr. Sparks? Hmm. I suppose I can build something that would throw Twinkly back into the sky, but it won't be easy. Say, a challenge. I like it. I call it a catapult. You put Twinkly in here. Then, when I pull this, the machine will throw Twinkly all the way back into the sky. Not if we can help it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Those goblins are fast. It's almost morning. How will we get Twinkly back in the sky if Sly and Gobbo have her? Mr. Spox, you get the catapult outside and we'll rescue Twinkly. Come on. I'm sure this is where the goblins took Twinkly. OK, Star, you belong to us now. You're going to help us do all sorts of naughty goblin magic. How are we going to get Twinkly away from Sly and Gobbo? Hmm. I have a plan. Martha, go get your flashlight from the car. Tessie, here's what you do. Oh, hide me! She's after me! Uh, who's after you? Twinkly's mother. She thinks I stole her. Don't worry. We're going to get you out of here. Hmm. The 
This is probably a trick to snatch Twinkly back. Where's my daughter? Are you the bad goblins who took my baby star? Do you want me to come down out of the sky and knock your tree down? <laughs> uh, no, Mrs. We, we didn't take your girl. It, it, it was Tessie Bear and, and, and Noddy and Martha Monkey. Yeah, we, we were just taking care of her. <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> <laughs> See, Noddy's a bad one, not us. Uh -huh. We were trying to help. <laughs> oh no! Don't be angry at me, Mr. Star. <coughs> I'll return your baby to you. Well, okay. Mother will keep flying Gobbo busy. Let's go. I hope we can get back to town in time. You goblins look like troublemakers. Maybe I should knock down your tree anyway. <laughs> no, please don't knock down our tree. No. All right, I won't do it. But only if you admit that monkeys are smarter than goblins. Oh, oh yes, Mrs. Star. Monkeys are smarter than goblins. It's a well-known fact. And Martha is the smartest monkey of them all. And the prettiest and really, really talented. Yes, Martha is the smartest. Hey, wait a minute. Who is that? <laughs> oh, we're the ones who are supposed to play tricks on other people. It's all ready for you. Have a good trip. Bye, Safe Twinkly. Journey, bye, Twinkly. Bye, Twinkly. Bye, Twinkly. Bye. Oh, goodbye, Twinkly. That was a fun adventure. We should all go camping together again. Right, Martha? Yep. There are still a lot of stars to look at up there. Yes, but one of them shines a little brighter just for us.